Hi, my name is David Barnett from the Law Offices of Barnett, Lerner, and Carson, PA, and this is Sam Frankel, also a partner in the Law Offices of Barnett, Lerner, PA. Oftentimes, in handling claims under the Defense Base Act, people wonder whether or not there's a possibility of ever entering into a lump sum settlement. It's important to realize that under the Defense Base Act, if benefits are being provided, an injured worker has the statutory right to medical benefits for their injuries while also receiving payment of wages while they're disabled. The court can never order the parties to settle a case. The only role of a court is to order benefits that an injured worker may be entitled to. However, oftentimes cases do settle, and that settlement is really reached between a compromise basically developed between the insurance company or their employer and the injured worker. Essentially, they reach a mathematical or a dollar amount figure that both sides believe is in their mutual best interest so that they can essentially end the case. I like to call it basically a financial divorce for my clients where basically in exchange for a lump sum payment, they'll give up the rights to future medical benefits as, fu as well as future wage benefits. Sometimes cases settle only the medical aspect of cases, while other times medical aspects of cases say settle. But there are complications and there are concerns that we always need to be aware of when settling your case. And one of those concerns involves what we call in the industry a Medicare set-aside. Uh, since the 1990s, the federal government has had an interest in personal injury lawsuits and settlements, including judgments. Uh, they've been, begun enforcing that interest in workers' compensation claims, both uh, domestically and under the Defense Base Act. Essentially, if you are a United States citizen and you are injured overseas and your injury is going to be permanent and there are several different criteria involved, at some point during the settlement negotiations, we may need to notify Social Security of your injuries and the potential for a settlement. What this does is takes the burden off the U.S. taxpayer to pay in the future for your medical treatment associated with an injury sustained overseas. The, the federal government simply did not want the burden shifted from a, an insurance company or your employer or a responsible party for your injuries to the U.S. taxpayer. In essence, what happens is a number is developed, usually from a third-party company, is submitted to Social Security for approval based on what they deem to be an appropriate number and amount for your future medical care, for which Social Security or Medicare may be responsible and that money has to be put aside into a separate account, usually funded by the insurance company, but maintained by you, the worker. Uh, we usually tell our clients to go ahead and open up a separate bank account, a separate checking account, and use that as a giant deductible every time they go to their doctor to treat for their injuries associated with their overseas employment. This is not a general bank account for your spending pleasure you can only use this money to treat for those injuries that you sustained while working overseas and are part of your claim. Once that account reaches zero, uh, Social Security is advised and Medicare will step in and begin picking up the future treatment. Uh, that is one of the major concerns in settlements and is something that can delay settlement process slightly while this information is obtained. If you do apply for Social Security or if you are eligible or believe you may need to apply for Medicare benefits, please let your attorneys know as soon as possible. One other thing regarding settlements and that is if and when you're able to reach a settlement, if there's Medicare issues, you'll see the acronym MSA or CMS and that deals with the Medicare or, or uh, Medicare set aside allocation amount. Also, the settlement process can be quite long. Typically, it takes anywhere from six weeks to 12 weeks to finalize a settlement and receive your settlement proceeds. If you're interested in finding out more information regarding your case, possible settlement of your case, please feel free to contact us at Barnett Lerner Carson PA. Visit our website at www.injuredoverseas.com or feel free to call us toll free at 888-882-7425.